They're all getting invitations except myself, but Senator Batchik. I'm sorry. Senator Batchik. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Extended to you, Gaelic. Could I uh, welcome you to the House, Minister, and uh, welcome Deputy Alan Kelly to the gallery, and uh, along with your colleagues, uh, Deputy, and those who have an interest in the bill. And just to welcome this important bill, which was initiated by my Labour colleague, Deputy Kelly, in the Dáil, and sponsored by him in the Dáil, uh, and which just passed through the Dáil, I think, in the last week, having been initiated there uh, last year with cross party support. And I do want to acknowledge, Minister, your own support for the bill uh, uh, that you expressed both in this House and in the Dáil as well. And as Deputy Kelly said in the Dáil, it is a small but important bill. Uh, it was, uh, I think he uh, acknowledged or credited um, the White Gypsy Brewery in Templemore as the original uh, initiator of the idea uh, to, in, uh, to inspire this legislation. And Deputy Kelly spoke about the story uh, Quillen Lochnan from the White Gypsy told him that a number of visitors to his brewery came to the US and and couldn't believe that they were unable to purchase beer on the premises from him. So it is, it's a common sense bill, therefore, that seeks to address this anomaly whereby those who do tours, visitors, tourists who conduct tours of uh, distilleries, of uh, breweries, of vineyards, are unable to purchase uh, the product on site. And clearly this is an anomaly in our licensing legislation, but it is a very, very important one to be addressed because this is, as you've said, Minister, a dynamic uh, and growing uh, area of, um, of uh, in Ireland. It is also a labour intensive area. We know that uh, of the uh, the breweries and uh, microbreweries uh, and so on in production currently at uh, 2016 production levels microbreweries alone employed 439 persons of full-time equivalent status others have spoken about the growth the phenomenal growth in new enterprises 33 of the 62 production microbreweries commenced production in the 2014 to 2015 period alone so we need to encourage growth in this sector and that's something that's recognized I think by all uh, di by many different uh, um, arms in the state and, um, and a note that Falch Ireland uh, sponsored the launch and helped uh, at the launch of this bill last year in 2017 in recognition of the potential growth in tourism. Uh, I should say uh, um, I recently had occasion to visit both the Jemison Distillery here in Dublin and in Middleton and it's, it's very impressive to see the operation there, to see the uh, an, an amount of people that, are, that come into those two premises alone uh, and, uh, and to see uh, the, uh, the enormous goodwill that they generate in the local areas. I should say there's also an issue of equity here, and you've alluded to that, Minister, in your own speech, that some of the larger breweries and distilleries have already obtained public house licences in order to ensure that they can sell alcohol products, including those they produce on their premises, to visitors. But there's an issue of equity because, of course, for smaller craft breweries, for microbreweries in particular and smaller distillers, that may not be an option because of the cost of extinguishing an existing public house licence. Um, we have in my own area in Dublin uh, the, the Teelings Distillery in Newmarket Square, which again has really regenerated what was, a very, uh, was, was a, an area which uh, lacked uh, investment for some time. So this is the sort of initiative we want to encourage. And I should say, as chairperson of the Vote All 100 committee, I was delighted to see my uh, Labour colleague Joan Burton speaking in the Dáil in support of this bill and noting that a number of prominent distillers are women, including the craft distillery in, in Middleton, but also noting that this is uh, increasingly the case on the craft uh, uh, in terms of brewing craft beer, where we're seeing more women getting involved as entrepreneurs. And uh, I'm indebted to Ursula Quill in my office for pointing me out a recent profile in Image magazine of five Irish women brewing craft beer. This was published in February 2018. The, uh, the piece noting that Irish women are now at the forefront of craft beer brewing and are breaking all number of glass ceilings to earn their place in the fast-moving be beverage industry in Ireland. And they refer to Metalman Brewery, uh, Met Metalman Brewery in Waterford, which uh, Senator Coffey referred to, but also Two Sisters Brewing in Kildare, Rascals, Rascals Brewing in Donegal, West Kerry Brewery in Kerry, Kirlick, and N17 Craft Beers in Galway. So really from all corners of Ireland, we're seeing not only a growth in craft uh, beer distilling, uh, craft beer brewing, but also uh, in the numbers of women entrepreneurs. And uh, Bureau magazine in 2014, um, if I could conclude on this, points out that uh, the tradition of women brewing is a long one in Ireland. We may think that this is a... 
this is a recent. I won't. I won't. Uh, I'm, I'm not. Uh, I'm not responding to Senator McDowell's point. But I will say that while we see, while we think of this as a relatively modern phenomenon, the number of women entrepreneurs in um, in the alcohol industry in Ireland. In fact, throughout history, women have played an integral role in the production of beer. And uh, I might just. Uh, uh, yes, indeed it does. And I would say this, that uh, St. Bridget herself, it seems, according to uh, this source, had her hand in miraculous brewing. And given that we've had some uh, strong cultural allusions in earlier debates today, uh, in the many debates we've already had at this house today, I thought it would be nice to conclude with an old, 18th, uh, old 11th century Irish poem, St. Bridget's Ale Feast. When asked what her view of heaven was, St. Bridget replied, I would like to have a great lake of beer for Christ the King. I'd like to be watching the heavenly family drinking it down through all eternity so while Irish vineyards may be a new phenomenon it seems Irish craft brewing is not a new phenomenon and women involved in the craft brewing industry uh, also uh, this the growth of women involved in this is not a new phenomenon so I think um, uh, joking aside I think this is a small but important bill I think it can contribute to the growth of a of a dynamic and fast-growing sector in the Irish economy it's something that will also contribute to an increase in tourism in Ireland and it's something that I think all members uh, and, and on Thank both sides sure. of the House can support. And I should say this also, it's about responsible consumption of alcohol and I'm sure the Minister will respond to Senator McDowell's important point about over, persons who are over 18 uh, because this is about responsible consumption. That's something that also needs to be stressed. That when we see people having a small glass of Guinness in the Guinness storehouse, uh, also near where I live in central Dublin, and we see just the phenomenal number of visitors to that storehouse, it's not about drinking large quantities of alcohol. It's about the experience of seeing the way in which Guinness is produced and, it, and it's just about having a, um, have, having a uh, uh, being able to consume a small amount of alcohol as part of that experience. So that's also a very important point to make in support of this important Thank you. Minister, respond. 